One of them wanted to be the security guy. He claimed he was a security guy. All right, welcome back to Security Guy Radio, Tom. How you been? Great, Chuck, how you doing? Saw you, what, is it Anaheim? As is, I think I saw yep, you last year. Yep. Yeah, I was walking that show, just walking around, right. talking to people, yeah. And as you can see on camera, and you gotta go to YouTube to see this, if you're listening to the podcast, you got a level 3A vest for $299. Yep, bullet safe vest. How yeah. do you do it? It's amazing. Tell us about your new products, what's going on with the bulletproof vest business. Sure, well, the bulletproof vest business is great. You know, when you offer a great product at a great price, people come out of the woodwork to buy it. At this show, we're handing out samples of the ballistic material so people can try to like find their strong guy friend and try to get him <laughs> to tear it. But it's almost unterrible. It's, uh, and our vest is made out of 43 layers of this. Now I noticed when I picked it up and handled it, uh, it did move a little bit. It stretched a little bit. Yeah. So you can see that you can feel the fiber in the weaving, but yeah. you cannot tear that. Uh, I suspect you can't cut it too easily either. Yeah, no, pound for pound, it's as strong as steel. Now, let me ask you a question about bullets versus knives. Old bulletproof vests did not guarantee about knives. What's yeah. with the new material? What are we saying about that now? Yeah, well, um, there is something called an S1 stab rating. It's a very, very difficult test to pass. Okay. It's like a needle point that is pushed in and twisted and oh. bent. We do not pass the S1 rating. However, Neither you, do most of them either. Really. No, yeah. no. If you try to take a knife and stab through a vest like ours, it's not going to go through. So okay. Most vests these days are made out of the same polyethylene material as the bolt safe vest. There's nothing really unique material-wise in our product. Just we figured out how to simplify the process to get the price lower. Yeah, and explain what a 3A is to my nieces and nephews who don't, haven't sure. been shot yet. Yep, uh, level 3A is the highest level you're going to find in soft armor. It's a handgun rating up to 44 Magnum. If 44 you don't, Magnum? Yep, wow. if you don't remember what a 44 Magnum is, that's what Dirty Harry used. That's right, very powerful. Yeah, very powerful. And you got some new products now. Yep, we got a couple of new Show things. What you got. Uh, one of my favorites is the bulletproof baseball cap. You can see it has a ballistic panel in the front third of the cap. It's very discreet to wear, so officers can wear this all day, every day. Doesn't look like a riot helmet or anything no, like that. But what it does look like is a Spartan baseball bat that stands up. Yeah. Right. So it, yeah. looks, it looks good. Yeah. So if you're knocking on doors, you know, serving warrants or repo man or something like that, this is a great choice for you. It'll stop at 45. It's level 2A, and it's 129 dollars. Oh. Two A's of 45, three yep. A's of 45 Magnum. Okay. 44 Magnum, yeah. 44 Magnum, yeah. Yeah, so two A is lighter handguns, the 45 being the top. Uh, two, which is slightly higher, is 357 Magnum. And then three A is the highest you're going to find in handgun rounds, which is right. that 44 Magnum. Now, just so we can get rid of some myths and all that kind of sure. stuff. Really, not a lot of vests unless you get into military grade stuff that, that handle certain rifles and things, right? Yeah. That's not what it's designed for. No. But what about a smaller you know, a nine millimeter submachine gun that gangsters carry around now. It's still a nine millimeter. Yeah, right? it's still the nine millimeter cartridge. So the velocity is not that high, right. even with that longer barrel. And then there's some uh, there's some guns like one's called like a CX4 Storm, which shoots a 45 ACP, 45 bullet, but with a longer barrel and our vest will stop that as well. Yeah, and just people know longer barrels give you higher velocity That's right. as it comes out. Right. It gives the gunpowder more time to push that bullet. Right. And what else we got here? Strike yeah, plates? So, uh, yeah, so we've always made a ceramic plate. Our ceramic plate is in our vest goes up to NIJ level four, which is the highest level there okay, is. Okay, tell me what level four stops. That's a 30 odd six with an armor piercing round. And in that's it. like a, a deer rifle. Yeah, long, yeah. elk hunting rifle, okay. yeah. And, uh, this, and ceramic this, meaning what people might think of ceramic as ceramic knives, that kind of, yep. it's a hardened. It's very hard. Right. Yep. And uh, so this product's been on the market for a few years. It's our best selling plate and it's 169. It's about half the weight of a steel plate at 5.7 pounds, but this year we have something new and much lighter, which is our polyethylene plate. This plate weighs 3.3 pounds, which I know you. It is. I know you can't tell. Yeah. yeah, it still fits in the carrier though. Okay. I know you can't tell how light it is, but it feels almost. It's lighter than a book of the same size, so yeah. it's quite light. I handled it. It is amazing. Yeah, 3.3 pounds. It's 299 dollars, and this will stop ARs and AKs on its own. Oh, so you'd wear that on top of the vest or in a pouch? Yeah, it can go in the pouch on our vest, but it can, you can also wear it in a plate carrier or a device like that. Now, 
I'd like that because it'd make my chest look bigger. I'd actually look like I have muscles. So yeah, it's there so you go. Thick. <laughs> uh, That's why I wear the flaps on my pocket. It's the same effect. Are you, what, how is your market doing as far as bringing in people that traditionally did not have bulletproof vest? I'm thinking guards need vests nowadays. Yeah. It's cost prohibitive usually, but not at two ninety nine. Right. Exactly. Especially in like the cash transport business, you know, the guys that are filling right. ATMs, middle of the night, you're driving around town, you're dropping off fifty grand at a shot. These are dangerous jobs. And now you can buy our vest two ninety nine. We have over two hundred dealers around the US or you wow. can get them at boldsafe.com. It's easy to buy, it's easy to size. They come small, medium, large, extra large and two X. We use a height and weight chart to size you. Everybody knows how tall they are and what they weigh. Right. Even though I don't like to admit it, <laughs> we all know. So, yeah, it's an easy product to buy. Now, are are people concerned about the price and thinking, well, it must not be blah, 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 vest because it's the price. I want you to be really clear on why you are less expensive. It's the same materials. Same materials. It's the same manufacturing. There's, by the way, you have to pass the same tests. Yeah. You can't yeah, go sell this and say it's a 3A. Test. That's yep. right. Yeah. And uh, w one of the things we do, which which lowers the cost significantly, is this is not a custom cut vest. It comes in small, medium, large, extra large, okay, 2X, that's a good point. and then 4X. Yeah. And as such, it includes a lot more Velcro area so that it will fit people of different sizes and shapes. You know, it's a good point. My yeah. vest was custom. And if I gained five pounds, it didn't fit. Yeah. Because I didn't have enough Velcro to adjust it. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. yeah. And um, the other thing is it only comes in one style. We don't make one with a Molly carrier or this, that, or the other thing. You kind of have to choose what we give you. All right. And it's the Model T Ford approach. I actually used to work at Ford Motor Company in business planning. And Ford Motor Company knows how to make things inexpensively. So I took all those principles right. and applied it to bulletproof vests. Now, it's not rocket science. It's just incremental changes, one yeah. after the other. It comes in any color you want, Chuck, as long as it's black, right? <laughs> Show me that panel again. The sure. thick panel. Uh, this pe this uh, piece here. The, uh, the thick panel. Oh, on the, oh, on the, the left. Yeah. The ultra light. Ultra light. Yeah. Now, uh, is that coming one size? One size. Ten by twelve shooter cut. Are are coppers buying this to stick it in their door? I mean, you could put that a lot of places beyond your vest. Yeah, I suppose. But at two hundred ninety nine dollars, I think people choose just to buy it for their active okay. shooter kit. Have you any had any inquiries to uh, bulletproof things like? The front desk at the old police station that doesn't have that, right? Well, it's old wood thing, right? I used to work at Ford Motor Company, and of course, they just started offering a factory package in the Explorer um, police vehicle. Yeah. And they asked me if I'd be interested in it, and I said no. Oh, okay. The reason is because we are very focused on delivering a great vest at a low price, and all of these side projects take away from the great vest at the low price. That's an excellent point. Either they make it so I don't have time to make the vest as good as it can be, right? or it makes it so the price goes up. I don't think my security guard customers want to pay an extra $5 per vest because I went off and developed some door panels for Ford Explorers. All right, that's, that's fair. Yeah. That's a fair point. So, Who's your number one market? Security guards. Oh, not, not police? No, not okay. police. That's why we're here at the ISC conference right. and no one else is. Oh, very yeah, interesting. We understand our place in the marketplace. We're the best value in the business. And you know, other companies can go after the custom fit law enforcement market, but we're here to support security guards with a low price. Now, this is new from last year, these, these new panels and yeah, plates and stuff. Plate, yeah. What do you got and on the, the drawing cap. board? No, not too much more, to be honest with All you. Right. We're, we're trying to shave every penny out of the thing. We have dealers, and we'd like them, they don't make a lot of profit on our vests, and they complain. And we'd like to get them maybe another dollar or two right. in margin, keep the retail price at two ninety nine, and maybe lower that wholesale price okay. by another buck or so. I know it sounds like nothing, but it's important to, to our dealers and it's difficult to do. So as our volume has increased, we get a better price on materials and we can lower that price. Do you only bit. sell through dealers or I'm the uh, ABC guard company and I want to buy 50 from them? Yeah, can I buy please, them from you? Please contact me. I'll be happy okay. to sell them. Yeah. Now, the reason I'm asking yeah. is because I think we're getting to the point in the security business where not providing guards with proper equipment as the owner of the company is going to get you into trouble. Yeah. And guard companies have thin margins, right? So, yeah, I have to buy your uniform, but if you want a vest, you got to go buy it. And yeah. I'm thinking that time has passed, right? Well, I think at two ninety nine, I hope that encourages it to pass. I think so. Yeah. So let me ask you this about reusability. Uh huh. Uh, back in the day when I was a police officer, you got a custom vest that fits you. You used it five years. I always turn mine in after two because I was. Uh -huh scared of everything just to make sure right uh-huh 
Are these rated for five years? Yes, the okay. same materials as everyone else. So, all right. And there is some there's some research that has to do with the materials, some material science. There's some research uh, going on in France right now to maybe extend the life to extend the guaranteeable life of the polyethylenes. Right. Well, they and, have to pick a point somewhere because yeah. you can't take a chance as someone's going to get hurt. Yeah, it. it's not like a car battery where right. you know it might start your car after five years. We have to be darn sure exactly it's got a guarantee that it's going to start your car so if there's a five-year shelf life yep and i have a hundred percent turnover in my guard company uh-huh that happens per year right yeah could i use that vest five years for five different people i yeah if they fit they sure can okay. and that's one more reason why to buy an off the rack size right the next guy's probably going to fit a large and the more Velcro in the vest, the better the chance yeah. that that's going to happen. What kind of maintenance do we need to do on these things now? Back Not, in the day, we had to really. use soap, warm soap and water because you could sweat or something. Yeah. I don't know. They well, said it degraded the Velcro. Uh, the, yeah, uh, Kevlar was not very Kevlar. sweat resistant, right. but polyethylenes are great for that. Oh, it's different. Okay. Yeah. yeah, polyethylenes are great. The only thing they don't like is UV light. But there's enough layers between the polyethylene and the light that you're not going to have any trouble. So don't wear it at the dentist to get my teeth whitened, and I'll be okay. It <laughs> yeah. won't degrade it. Or right. don't take it apart and think <laughs> it's, you know, and then yeah. put it in the light. So washable cot cotton yeah. Uh, cover. Yeah, uh, it's a it's a um, it's a denier poly polyester. You take the ballistic panels out of it. So they slide right out. There's a little Velcro flap you undo and slide them out. And then you can put the carrier in the wash if you like. Are you getting into any uh, overseas markets? Um, well, we ship only to the United States. It's difficult to ship bulletproof vests overseas. Is there uh, some regulations and yeah, laws? Yeah, there's things? regulations that covered it. There are a few firms that specialize in that type of thing. Right. But so we will ship to them and have them do that, sort of as our dealer. Yeah, I guess that's for terrorism standards or something. Who knows? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and then, and then it, it drives the price higher. The reason we don't do it is because the price wouldn't be two ninety nine. Right. So I don't want to tell customers in Mexico that their vest isn't two ninety nine. Sure. It's three forty nine because of all the paperwork. I let the you know the the exporters do that. Now if we if we go to a dealer that's okay that's one thing but can we buy directly from BulletSafe online? Yep, bulletsafe.com, sure. And then you ship it FedEx to them they get it and yep. they're all done. All yeah, right. the other thing is uh, one other thing that separates us from the bespoke, you know, the custom cut vests is yeah. ours are ready to go. If you need a vest oh, there tomorrow, you, go. Yeah. you can order it on bulletsafe.com. As of yesterday we had like 764 vests on hand and they'll go right out the door and you'll have it in your hands. Have you ever thought of leasing for, I don't know, a six month project and someone wants to lease 100 vests. We have been asked about it and we did put together, like we did some calculations about it, even for like the weekend, you know, some musician or music oh, festival. 500 guards, yeah. Academy Awards, I yeah. had 500 guards out there. Yep. Yeah. And we put the numbers together and it's, the funny thing about it is that by the time you ship the vest out and ship the vest back, boy, you know, and rent it, you're pretty close to $299. But oh, well, yeah. yeah. So don't be surprised if we offer something in the future, but it's interesting that, you know, a lease price on this is probably not going to be less than 99 bucks, you know, by the time both ship, both the outbound and inbound shipping's included. So for 299 <coughs> you can buy it. Yeah, I mean, but that's a capital expenditure as yeah. opposed to a lease, and sometimes yeah. leases are better it's tax write-offs. Expense. Yeah, it depends oh, how good, you do it. Good point, Chuck. Tax yeah, I never thought about that. Yeah. yeah. So the other thing I was wondering is if I'm... Uh, I think this is what I remember back in the day. Giving my vest to somebody else, voided a warranty or something? I don't know. Is Not our a... warranty. Okay, good. Yeah. It's and the warranty is based on the same years. federal standards for threat yep. protection, things like that. Yeah. And if I want to give my brother to use today, we're all sharing a vest. Well, you sure. know what? A guard company could share a vest on every shift. Let me tell you, I supplied right. vests to Securitas in Detroit. You know, right. we're, oh, we're Detroit. in the Detroit area. Yeah. yeah, we're in that area too. And uh, they bought they bought 12 vests for 25 guys. It's fine with me. Makes sense, yeah. Yeah. All right, good. Yeah, they work your shifts. They must smell like, oh, get out by it the must. time they're done. But, <laughs> yeah. Tom, give us your website again. Uh, www.bulletsafe.com. Bullet Safe. It keeps you safe from bullets. Excellent. Thanks for coming on Security Guy Radio. Thanks, Jack.